Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and happy Mask Monday, friends and ladies collaboration day. So y'all, I decided today would be a mask roulette day, which all that constituted was went over where all my masks are, opened it up, closed my eyes, reached in, shuffled around, grabbed a mask. <laughs> Thought that would be fun. Um, and I picked the Beauty Skin Cosmetics Real Essence Honey Mask. Definitely have used this a number of times. You guys, you can just tell this is so full of serum. It is thick and I can just feel the serum moving around in the packet. So I should be able to get a couple of uses out of this. Um, so let's just get into that and then we'll go through a few other things. A little housekeeping and type stuff, a little jibber jabber. This is a great mask. I've definitely used this mask on more than one occasion. Um, trying to make sure it's a thicker serum. It kind of comes out like a milky white if I remember. I'm just trying to be really careful. Open the mask so I don't make a mess on my desk. All right, very, very, very gooey. Oh yeah. Oh, it's maybe it is a little bit clearer than I thought. I like the, si ooh, it's drippy. It's that wet, it's very drippy. Ooh, so that's the serum. I was thinking it was more of a like milkier white serum, but it's, oh my gosh, so full of serum. Y'all, dripping, has a nice pleasant scent to it. All right, I like this mask because it's a little thicker. I like these masks that have that just a little bit thicker consistency to them. They're harder to tear, although I've definitely torn them. Mm, okay, woo, it's cold, so cold. So cold. All right, I've showered, I'm clean out of the shower. So you guys, today I, um, I did my cleansing detoxifying shampoo. I got a detoxifying shampoo from K18 Hair. So I did that. Basically, uh, it strips, you know, I live in the country. I'm a horse person, right? Live in the country and we're on well water and Wisconsin has hard water. Uh, there are some areas that have softer water, but we have very hard water and hard water is so hard on your hair. You get all these deposits in your hair. Uh, it makes it dull, prone to frizzing, drying, breaking, split ends. It can be a real nightmare. I So I, my coworker ta um, turned me on to the K18 hair mask, and she gave me that for a uh, Christmas present, and I loved it. So when I went in to order a restock, I, did, I wanted to try the detoxifying shampoo because she, she tried it after, I think it was after the beginning of the year, and was raving about it because she too lives in the country and is on hard water. And she says, my gosh, my hair is amazing. So I've been using that. I use it at most once a week, but I do use it at least once a week uh, to 10 days because I'm on this hard water. It's well water. And, uh, and then I follow it up with the K18. You guys, I wish I could explain. I wish you guys could feel how, like, all I have in my hair it's it's freshly washed with the detoxifying shampoo and then i put in the k18 i used two and a half pumps because i got a lot of hair and it's long and you guys it like it feels i don't know how to describe it it feels plumper thicker softer it's just you guys i know it's expensive it is so amazing i and pairing it with the detoxifying shampoo I'm so thrilled. I only really wash my hair twice a week tops and I don't use a detoxifying shampoo twice a week. I just use that once a week. But you guys, I, I know y'all it's expensive, but uh, uh, it's, it's brought life back to my hair. I was just splitting, getting split ends and it was just, it was so bad and I am, I'm so happy and it's just gonna continue to get better and better. You know, as I continue to, you know, you grow your hair. I, my hair grows fairly fast. I grow about a, about a centimeter every two to three weeks. It's crazy. I'd say probably a solid centimeter of hair every three weeks. Um, it's just nuts. So, and I, I color it. So it's super damaged by the color. And then of course on the hard water. So anyway, I'm, I'm just, I can't get over how like, and it helps kind of reestablish the curl. So, um, okay. So I'm going to hang on to this again. This is the real essence uh, honey mask. I don't know if I need my silicone mask to hold this. It's so gooey. It's just staying right on there, but I think I might do it anyway to just flatten it out. So this, you guys, you can find these in my Amazon store and I have that link down below. I have the K18 link down below as well. You can get it either through my Amazon store or you can get it through K18 Hair's website. And I have an affiliate code down there 
to earn me some points. Um, so anyway, yeah, I look a little goofy, but this works. I just doesn't want to like get around my ear. There we go. All right, I got the ears on backwards. I don't know if you guys noticed that. I thought it'd be kind of funny. <laughs> They're just on backwards, whatever. All right, so I got a little mail and, and let's go do that. And then I'll tell you guys about my weekend, which was crazy busy and I'm really super tired. I got a little friend mail from Shirley's Real Life uh, out of Louisiana. And just, I wanted to show you guys a super cute stamp. Look at that cute puppy. Isn't that adorable? Oh, so she sent me, you guys, a little friend mail and it looks like it is valentines a couple little valentines they're super cute so thank you miss shirley i love it so much it just says in the back happy valentine's day so this is my second valentine and yeah i picked it up a little bit late but that's okay it's post post valentine's but i still love it look at it i love cats and dogs you guys love it love it love it so thank you shirley um and then i ordered ordered i got i don't know how you say it i claimed uh, a pinch me freebie and it comes long enough long it takes a long time i can't talk it takes a long time i don't remember what i got so it's just full of advertising you guys like the whole box is like a giant ad <laughs> with all these qr codes you hear it i don't know what's in oh my god i don't know what this is but it's, it's a lot that's weird mary blitzmas scan and play now this is this is the stuff that was all over the um the box so i'm not i don't know what that's all about um okay there's some like sample stuff in here all right so we do have a wine voucher if you want to claim this wine voucher and use it um get ready to screenshot this because there's some codes and passwords here i won't be using this it's nakedwines.com my hand shaking. I won't use that. Okay. So then we have, oh, some hair masks from Ava, New York City, Ava NYC. Um, deeply hydrates, conditions, softens. This is vegan with no sulfates, parabens, or phthalates, cruelty-free therapy session hair mask powered by argan and oil and plant protein. There are two of them. They're 20 milliliters each. This is going to be nice to try. Just because I'm using the K18, you guys, doesn't mean I'm not using other like conditioners and things. And I do throughout the week do that. Uh, last last week, Mask Monday, I think I was doing like a deep hair conditioning mask with the organic hair stuff I use. So I, I still am like a normal shampoo conditioner kind of girl. Um, so there we go. This says sustainability. I'm made of 35% PCR, post-consumer recycled paper. So that's good. This is sustainable packaging. Cruelty free, GMO free, and vegan, 100% vegan. So, and of course, like I said, free from parabens, phthalates, SLES, MIT, MCT, MCITs, mineral oils, nanoparticles, triclosans, uh, triclocarbons, BH, BTHs, BHAs, oxybenzone, and benzofuronone. If I said that right. So, those will be nice. I will definitely try those. I like them, they're single use trials. We got another, if you guys want to screenshot this, this is HelloFresh. Uh, $2.49 per meal on your first box. Uh, let's see, plus first box ships free. There's a code coming here. Feel free to take that code. I'm going to flip it around because there is a QR code. You want to QR code this? I'm not going to use it. Okay, we got one more item here. Oh, it's a mask. Oh, if I would have known, we could have used this mask today. <gasps> This is from Siomu, S-E-O-M-O-U, Deep Hydration. There's a spelling error. Serirs? S-E-R-I-R-S? That's not a word I'm familiar with. Maybe it's not a spelling error, but it's not a word I'm familiar with. It's right above my fingernail there. It's on the back, too, so it must mean something, and clearly I have no idea. Serirs. Deep Hydration Serirs. Hyaluronic Moisturizing Mask. Replenishes water and moisture, brightens skin tone, multiple nutrient penetration, firm cloth is soft and light. Um, I think this is made in China. Yeah, Guangzhou and Guangdong, so that's China. Um, I'm just looking to see if it says anywhere else on here. Let's see. Yeah, Guangzhou. Uh, it doesn't say... That's weird that it doesn't actually say country of origin. It's just Guangzhou, Guangdong, qualified product. 
Simu is a registered trademark. Like, so the manufacturer is Beauty Online Biomedicine from Guangdong. Uh, it gives the address, um, but it doesn't say. That's that's crazy. I don't know if that's Korean or Chinese. I feel like that's Chinese. So you guys comment down below if you know where this country of origin and this this mask might be made because it's a little i mean they just don't have the country of origin on here so but i do like hyaluronic acid so i definitely want to try that so these are pretty nice i mean not a bad couple hair masks two of the same things so you get to try it twice and then this i think this is what i remember maybe i do remember sending up for both these and then of course i don't i don't know what this whole mary blitzmas bingo blitz is whatever <laughs> So anyway, I don't know, but I'm going to keep my mask in my trash separate and my, my Valentine separate. So my friend and I, so this weekend through Cornell University was a big backyard bird counting weekend. It's Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. So Monday, when you guys are seeing this, is still part of the thing. And the whole idea is to go out to your backyard and count, like take a count of all the birds of each species that you see or hear there. Um, and they want you to be as accurate as possible. It just basically kind of helps count birds across the world and see where the populations are. First of all, where they are location-wise and where they are population numbers. So, of course, we just made this, this wild birding event. Uh, so Saturday morning, she picked me up at 7.45 in the morning. And we got back here, I think, at 3 o'clock so I could feed uh she picked me back up at 3 45 and i think i got home at 7 45. <laughs> we did stop for dinner on the way home but we got um a ton of birds and i had seven seven new counts for the year i'm doing like a, a bird year where you count every species and type bird you see uh <clears throat> but my first time ever i so like what they call a lifer for me was a pileated woodpecker um think of woody woodpecker and i'll try to i'll try to throw a picture on the screen maybe over like on <laughs> maybe we'll get it over there and it won't be a great picture it's something i took at a distance with my new camera but it's a very large woodpecker they're about that big they're very loud very vocal and they make big holes in trees um they're not very common down in the southern end of wisconsin but they're much easier to find in northern wisconsin um I just hadn't seen one probably saw one when I was a kid I don't remember it but it was a lifer for me and um we basically went to we drove all over uh Dane County which is the county that the capital city of Madison is in we went east into Jefferson County as well but we were like all over and we went to this uh city called Cross Plains which is west of Madison and it's very um they have i won't call them mountains they're they're bluffs and so we pull up and we both looked at each other and we kind of groaned because the walk like you had to park at the bottom of the hill and the walk up was like this steep <laughs> i'm not even kidding you we looked at each other and we we're like we're never gonna make this right because it was snow covered slippery but it probably took 20 minutes to get up to the top of the hill to the bluff but when we got up there is when we saw the pileated oh my gosh oh that was so exciting and um then we went across on the top of the bluff was fairly flat we hiked across it and then we on the other side of the bluff we hiked down the ridge line along through a valley and then back up the bluff and then came back across and the pileated came he came and visited us a couple of times so i absolutely got to see him a bunch of times it was it was an honor it was really cool so we were all over the place um like i said she dropped me off and picked me back up after I got the horses fed and we went east of Madison towards Milwaukee which is where Laura the bargain hunter and Kimmy um Kimmy's happy place uh, or Kim's happy place they're in the like the Milwaukee area so we kind of went in that direction to uh Cambridge Deerfield water uh Watertown I don't um lake mills i'm sorry lake mills i have it on here we went to this um it's a big marsh it's like a huge protected wetland marsh area and we want we went there specifically to find owls because it is a really good place to find owls so we park and there's this this box you know where you can get like information <clears throat> and i swiped this out of here because it's a it's a take one this is a 
I would think I would call that legal size paper. And that's, what is that, eight and a half by 14? And it was put together by, I swear I thought it was on here. I think, oh yeah, here, the Boy Scouts of America Troop 190, the Eagle Scout Project. This is a bird checklist of all the birds throughout the year you're supposed to be able to find at this marsh. And there's two columns on the front page and a, a column and a smidge on the back. And I just want you guys to understand, this is an insane amount of birds. Can I just show you guys, each one of these little itty bitty thingies is a check mark for the bird. Every single line of text in each of these two columns is a different bird you're supposed to be able to go throughout the year and find. I am flabbergasted at, like that is a lot of birds. So it's one whole front sheet and then the whole back. There's half, there's an entire column here and then this little bit up here. I haven't counted yet, but it's crazy amount of birds. Like, there's got to be 200 birds on this? It's amazing. So kudos to the Boy Scout troop for putting this together. And then there's some sponsorship. This is sponsored by, like, the Chamber of Commerce and a whole bunch of businesses on here um, helping put these together. And they periodically print these and put these out so you can pull these checklists. And um, I'm floored. I, 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 we decided that we we're going to have to go back because of like the insane amount of birds that you can find throughout the year. So I'm, that's just crazy, but it was a really good year. That was, that was a really good day. That was Saturday. And then today we were both, uh, super tired. I think we probably hiked like eight to 10 miles on Saturday <laughs> or yeah. And then Sunday today, uh, we got a little later start cause we were both pretty tired and sore. Um, I drove and picked her up, I think I picked her up a quarter to 10 and we were out till two ish. We drove, uh, to, um, we went to one, two, I don't know, like six, eight places. We were really looking for a couple of specific birds that we knew were in the area. Um, we checked some known areas where they were. There was a greater, Greater white-breasted goose that is in the area migrating. Uh, I, I've, I've seen it because it flew overhead one night when I was feeding the horses and I heard it and I looked up because I'm like, that's not, I've been hearing Canadian geese. This was a totally different call. I looked up and I looked at it and I was like, okay. And I looked it up um, when I got in the house and I realized it was, it was that goose, but I want to like see it, see it in better daylight and like not just flying overhead. But, um, and then there are snow goose are out and um, a couple of different ducks that we haven't caught yet, but uh, did not get the greater white-breasted goose. Just everywhere we went, couldn't find it, but we did get a snow goose, the one snow goose. We were almost giving up. We were in this marshland. We almost gave up and we had this flock of five geese flying in. And we're like, you could hear it. It sounded like Canadian, but the front goose was white. And we're like, what is that? We're thinking the greater white breasted goose. And we looked up with our binoculars. It was a snow goose. And I will try to put a picture here of the snow goose. It was really cool. So cool. Got the binoculars up. And it was it was just above the tree line. So it was probably 40 feet above us. So it was a really clear view of this goose. And it was really cool. So that was a lot of fun. And you guys, you know, another four, probably three miles walk today. So um, good exercise. Got out. It was beautiful weather. I had my sunscreen caked on my face all day, um, but I was super windburned on Saturday. So, um, okay. So before we go, because I do have to pick the winner for last week's giveaway. Um, uh, I do, you guys, you guys remember this? The ladies from Wicked Awesome lifestyles uh, gave me this it is of course it needs a name and so you guys came up with a bunch of names uh, several videos ago and i got them written down here so what i think i want to do i'm just going to read you guys the names that i wrote down i think on the community tab i'm going to put a poll and i'll see have to see how many choices you can do in a poll um and i'll pick my favorites of these and then you guys can help me pick what we're going to name so please give me, give me a thumbs up. I appreciate that. So here's some cool names. There was Doc, D-O-C, like Dr. Doc, Thumbelina, Bill, Stewie, Lester, Fred, Charlie, Elmer, Timmy. You guys are coming up with all these male names. Happy Harry, Manny, uh, Philip or Phil, Tom Thumb, Larry the Likey. That kind of made me laugh. Mikey Likey or Mike Like, 
uh, Thumper, like Thumper, Blue's Clues, Tom Thumb, which is in there twice. So um, Luke Like, so we had Mike Like and Luke Like, and then Pearl. So this is one more opportunity, you guys. If you got any other suggestions on names, and I might come up with a couple too, please help me out because I definitely, definitely need you guys to help me name my pen. I haven't been using it because I don't have a name for it. So please, please give this video a thumbs up and down below, let me know what your thoughts are on that. And you might want to incorporate today's word for the upcoming giveaway, but let's go ahead, cut over right now. Let's go pick our winner for last week. And then we're going to come back and see what this week's giveaway is all about. Okay. Hang tight. Hey everybody. Here we are at the comment picker and apologies. I hope this looks okay. This is the first time doing this kind of recording on my new phone. It was a little weird, a little tricky, but I got the comment picker all set up and I got the URL pasted in here. And of course the word I needed you to use last week was headband. So let's go ahead and figure out how many people are entered in this giveaway. Okay, there's 40 entries. So let's scroll up and good luck everybody. Here we go. Miss Marlene Walker. Her comment was, good morning, Stephanie. I haven't tried the Tony Moly masks yet, but I hope to try them uh, out sometime soon. Congrats to the winner. I won a cute panda headband from you last year and I just love it. Thank you so much for sharing with us and hope you have a blessed day. Yes, I actually remember that cute panda headband and it was totally adorable. All right, you guys know the drill. I gotta go verify she is publicly subscribed. So hang on a second. All right, everybody, we are here on her channel and I'm sort of in the middle of the screen right here. So congratulations, Marlene. Please drop me an email verifying your address and I will get this shipped out to you. Uh, Monday, you guys, pretty sure is President's Day. So I think today's President's Day. Happy President's Day. That, of course, means no mail, federal holiday. But yep, drop me an email, please, on my channel email and I can get that out to you this week. All right, you guys, let's get back to the rest of this Mask Monday video. Hang on. Hey everybody, welcome back and congratulations to my winner. You do have 48 hours to contact me via my channel email, which is of course my channel name at gmail.com. Make it all one word, opinionatedhorsewoman at gmail.com. I just need your U.S. Postal Service mailing address, okay? Um, so let's get into this week's giveaway. And yes, I still have my mask on, you guys. It is so juicy. I'm just going to leave it on. There's a ton of serum in here. I will definitely get two uses out of this mask. Absolutely. It's even like still oozing out of the top of of this so yep i hey i love this so it's beauty skin cosmetics and it is of course a real essence uh honey mask it's got uh it's korean beauty and the only thing i don't like you guys it's white text on yellow like that's hard to read um i really hate it when brands do that all right so we're doing another mystery box from my channel you guys i'm just throwing some goodies in the box and I'm going to tell you guys, this is a really good week because uh, I got this boxy charm box that I just did my boxy charm like a week ago. And you guys, it's heavy. Um, the best part is you're not going to be able to really tell what's in here. I'll give you a quick, quick peek, but I'm pretty excited. It's a fun one. I think whoever gets it is going to love it. There's some really good stuff in here. Kind of a good variety of stuff. Yes, there's a couple masks in there. Okay. <laughs> That's your cheat. Okay. So it's heavy because, uh, yeah, I got some good stuff in there. So uh, these are kind of fun to do. You know, sometimes I like doing them. Um, and I know I talked a little bit about doing uh, doing away with this. I Last time I looked, which was earlier today at my channel count, I'm getting closer to hitting sort of a milestone. It would be like the 50 mark. Um, I think I might try to do like something special for that because it does take so long to, if you wait like to, for every hundred subscribers, it just is taking so long. I was literally sitting for a while at a certain, um, number. I was, you know, up and down and up and down. And it like, it took me like what, two months to do my giveaway for that milestone. Cause YouTube was being crazy. So I'm not sure I want to be like that aggressive, but I think I'm like six away, which of course I the minute I say that YouTube will take like 10 people away, but I'm getting fairly close to like an even number, like a 50 mark that I might do like a fun giveaway for that. I have some other giveaways going on. Um, I am not going to really promote them, but I should just telling you guys, watch my videos. Please watch them all the way to the end. You will actually maybe find out that there's giveaways in <laughs> some of them. Okay. 
All right, so this one, um, all the rules are down below in the description. You have to be publicly subscribed to my channel. Um, you need to give a give the thumb here, give it, give a thumbs up. Definitely make sure you're subscribed and you have the notifications turned on so that you don't miss if you're winning something. Okay. You only get 48 hours. I know a lot of channels announce who the winner is. Um, I have not done that because it, uh, you guys, I want you to watch my videos. Okay. Like it helps me, right? Like that's why. So this is a little fun mystery goodie. Um, all the rules are down below. You need to be an adult, 18 years of age or older, have a mailing address in the United States, please. I can't ship it internationally. We've kind of gone through that, you guys. If you live internationally and have a friend in the U.S. that I can ship this to on your behalf and then you can arrange from them how to get it to you, great. Um, but anyway, all the rules are down below and you need to leave a comment down below because um, I used the comment picker just like, just like we just did. So I think um, because I asked you guys for some suggestions on naming this little gem, the word I need you to use is pen. P-E-N, okay? So help me out. Come up with some more um, suggestions on names. Come on, you guys be creative. I'm always telling you, please be creative. And we need to name our little pen. And is this a dude or is this a female? Like, is this a male or female pen? Or is it um, androgynous? I, I, you guys, doesn't matter to me. It's a pen, <laughs> but we want to give it a name. So yeah, that's, uh, that's it. Use that down below in a sentence format. And you know, be creative, please, please, please. So anyway, thanks for my rambling, listening to all the goodness, like of what I was saying, because it has been a long weekend. I am extra tired, kind of a little bit so tired that I probably am not making much sense. But um, I hope you guys had a really great weekend. It was beautiful weather here. We're in for yet another storm. I think the whole country is in for another storm this next week. I think from what our weather is saying, it's going to start here in Wisconsin Tuesday or Wednesday. And I don't, it sounds like we could either have rain, sleet, ice, or snow, or all of the above. Uh, so I'm not really very excited about that. Honestly, I would either have an all rain event or an all snow event. The whole icing thing, not anything I'm a fan of. That's a total nightmare when you live on a farm. So <clears throat> We'll see. It's going to be a wild one, but have a great one, you guys. I really appreciate your time. Have a, have a wonderful Mask Monday, and I will see you on my next video. Bye, everybody.